Hi, I'm Quinn Nguyen at Intercom at the Oil and Gas Conference in Denver, Colorado. Joining me now is Ken Huseman, President and CEO of Basic Energy Services. Welcome, Ken. Hi, Quinn. Now, in the middle of an oil drilling frenzy, how is your company faring with the increase for drilling, rigs, and other completion services? Well, we're, we're really busy in all of our markets right now uh, with all the segments we provide. Of course, uh, we have plenty of work, but we are uh, uh, looking for more people. Right now, the uh, labor situation is is uh, getting to a critical level in the oil field. We're short of experienced people, so we're constantly looking for more uh, people to move into the move into our part of the geography to take those jobs. Now, during Q2 2011, weather delays were a theme witnessed by many. Yet your company set record revenue levels. What is driving the growth, and what is in store for Q3? We added quite a bit of new equipment in the second quarter, which offset some of the weather impacts that we had in a portion of our market, particularly in the Williston Basin. So uh, we were able to offset uh, and, and show some growth there. Well, with the uh, full quarter use of that equipment, we should see another increase, a sequential increase in our quarterly revenue and, and uh, profitability. Now talk to us about your rig utilization rates and where they're being deployed. Oh, the oilier areas are the busiest. We have uh, high utilization in those oil markets. Uh, we're running on a total company basis about 75% utilization right now. Uh, and that ranges from over 100% in the Permian Basin, which is a, uh, our largest market, to uh, you know, around 50 to 60% in the, in the gasier markets. And where, where are you seeing the most increased drilling demand in the U.S.? Uh, the Permian Basin has grown the most over the last several years. I think we uh, bottomed out at about 60 rigs running in the middle of 2009, and we're now over 400 rigs in that market. Uh, it's completely dependent on oil-related activity. Gas activity uh, continues to be pretty flat. In July, BASIC completed the purchase of the Maverick companies for $180 million. Did their supply office locations, locations provide upside or other incentives to the deal? We really uh, uh, were interested in that deal because it expanded our footprint into Colorado and the adjoining states where we didn't have a significant presence. They had a great uh, uh, core of people, experienced people, fairly new equipment, and it also provided a new platform in uh, coil tubing, which we don't have a large presence, but uh, we can use that as uh, to develop, deploy that uh, service in some of our other markets. Now, the oil service sector has seen tremendous growth this year. Does BASIC have the financial mobility to continue to grow its business to capture more market share? Yeah, we have great liquidity. We have over $100 million in cash right now, another $180 million or so in, in uh, liquidity under a revolver, plus the strong cash flow we're generating from our uh, monthly operations. We have plenty of uh, liquidity to continue to grow the company. Okay, Ken, well, thank you so much for your time and being with us here today. Thank you, Quinn. I'm Quinn Nguyen for oilandgas360.com.